as Blender is an extremely versatile application program dedicated to 3D modeling, sculpting, 2D and 3D animation, simulations, rendering, compositing, and almost everything creative, you need extremely powerful gadgets to utilize the same to its full potential. When it comes to 3D modeling, sculpting, and video editing performances, the Intel Core i5-9300H delivers more than expected, courtesy of the octa-threaded architecture. The excellent single-core turbo clock speed of 4.1 GHz also adds to the credibility of the CPU. Graphics-intensive processes like EV and viewport rendering are taken care of by the GTX 1650 GPU. Besides, the CUDA architecture plays a pivotal role in speeding up the modeling and rendering throughput. Blender is a VRAM monger, and 4GB of the same seems more like adequate for GPU acceleration, better sculpting, and high poly mesh modeling. Lenovo offers 8GB RAM for handling simultaneous operations with ease. However, if you are into modeling and rendering moderately complex scenes, 8GB might fall short, and you might have to upgrade. The good thing is, upgrading your RAM is cheaper than purchasing a fully equipped laptop but it requires you to open up your device and mess around with the hardware. When it comes to storing data, archives, files, and projects, the 512GB SSD unit deserves a special mention, owing to the speed and stability of the existing unit. The solid-state drive also houses the Windows 10 OS and ensures faster boot-ups. The Intel Core i7-9750H CPU exhibits excellent processing performances, as Blender works miraculously well on multi-threaded processors, the hyper-threading technology associated with the SOAK is expected to drive exceptional modeling and rendering performances. Graphics-intensive tasks are perfectly handled by the GTX 1660T GPU, clubbed with 6GB of video RAM. If you are a top-level professional, invested in poly meshes, viewport rendering, and real-time rendering, the GPU acceleration levels supported by the dedicated graphics card are expected to come in handy. In terms of RAM support, Acer offers 16GB of high-speed memory to rely on. As Blender relies heavily on caching for better scene rendering and sculpting, the RAM allocation might underwhelm some advanced professionals. The 512GB SSD unit is no pushover, and Acer ensures that we get an upgradable slot to pack in additional storage capacity when deemed necessary. Nonetheless, the SSD is fast and loads the Windows 10 Home OS faster than SATA SSDs and HDDs. The Hexacore Intel Core i7-10750H chipset shows up, offering the requisite multi-threading support to the latest version of Blender. Besides, the turbo clock speed of up to 5 GHz allows you to handle some of the single-core processes to perfection. Furthermore, creative application programs like Blender, Maya, SketchUp, or even BIM architectural tools have a penchant for GPU acceleration. The NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2070 GPU with 8GB VRAM comes in as a handy resource, considering the 2304 CUDA cores, Turing architecture, and ray tracing support. Our experts were pleasantly surprised with the top-notch real-time rendering performances, courtesy of Blender's EV engine, which requires a lot of VRAM. Furthermore, the processing conglomerate takes good care of high precision, creative tasks by splitting the 3D modeling responsibilities like overlays and geometry selection between the processor and the graphics card. Specific Blender processes like 3D sculpting use the 16GB onboard RAM. However, you might have to consider upgrading the same if you are into high-poly 3D models and wary of the aggressive caching for keeping up with optimal performances. The 512GB SSD unit with them support is fast but lets you down in terms of capacity. However, it still supports faster boot-ups and loads the Windows 10 Home Edition OS quicker than standard C units. Blender usage requires excellent displays, and the GL65 Leopard doesn't disappoint. You get access to a 15.6-inch IPS screen flaunting an overall resolution of 1920 by 1080 pixels. Color accuracy is guaranteed by the 72% NTSC color gamut. For starters, we get the 9th Gen Intel Core i7 chipset, featuring 6 cores and hyper-threading technology. Besides assisting multi-threaded applications with aplomb, 
the Intel Core i7-9750H CPU also works closely with the GeForce GTX 1660T GPU for better 3D modeling, sculpting, and rendering performances. Besides, the 6GB VRAM is quite a handful for GPU-intensive real-time rendering. The graphics card makes room for CUDA processing, which is something we would recommend for running the latest version of Blender. The NVIDIA Optimus technology is a surprise addition, allowing you to use the integrated UHD Graphics 630, if and when desired. Next in line is the 16GB RAM, capable of handling the more complex scenes and diverse data structures in play. Moving on, you get access to a 512GB 760p SSD. This solid-state storage module is PSI compatible and comes across as extremely power efficient. When it comes to the operating platform, Gigabyte prefers the Windows 10 OS. The 15.6-inch OLED display, on the other hand, is a spectacle of sorts. With a cumulative resolution of 3840 by 2160 pixels to rely on, followed by the 100% PCI P3 palette, there aren't many screens that can match the color accuracy exhibited by the Aero 15. Besides, the Pantone certified panel also flaunts sharper viewing angles and excellent sunlight visibility. For starters, the Intel Core i7-10750H processor is a commendable addition, courtesy of the 6 cores. Although, Razer could have persisted with the octa-core Intel i9, the 10th Gen i7 chipset doesn't disappoint either. The 12-threaded soak, thanks to the hyper-threading support, is a great choice for running Blender. Besides that, the single-core turbo clock speed of up to 5 GHz also comes in handy. Blender also makes extensive use of GPU acceleration, and the supplied NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2070 Max-Q can certainly make a difference. The mobile graphics processor ensures that the optics or ray tracing API availability for future-proofing your Blender indulgences. The 8GB VRAM also plays a major role in optimizing 3D performances. Blender is definitely a video RAM monger if you are interested in high-end rendering that isn't limited to the viewport, poly modeling, and sculpting.